Hey guys, so as you know, acoustic guitar players don't normally have a lot of guitar pedals on their pedal boards, but from right back in the day, one pedal has always been there for me, and Boss have just made it better. Let's take a look. So a lot of you guys have been emailing me asking about guitar pedals and gear and how to improve your tone with fingerstyle acoustic guitar. Now, thinking about all the gear I've had over the years, and I have had a lot of gear, there's been one pedal that's been on my board the whole time, which was the OC3 by Boss, the Super Octave. In fact, look how beaten up this is. This has been on my board for about 10 years. You can see that's pretty much 2,000 gigs worth of grime and muck on that thing, and it's still going strong. Until recently, it was the only pedal in the world that had this very specific function. Now most octave pedals do a very, very simple thing, which is they add a note, an octave below the note you're playing. Nice. So whenever you play a little scale or a pattern or anything, it creates the illusion of a bass player playing along with you. Now this doesn't work so well with fingerstyle guitar when we're dividing up polyphonic parts. You might have a bass line accompanying a harmony and a melody and maybe some percussion as well, right? Now the OC3 had this really cool feature called the polyphonic mode, just here, and a magical knob called the range knob. Now what this pedal and this pedal alone allowed me to do was apply that octave note just to very specific frequencies. So I could program it to just add the tone to say just the bottom string or the bottom string and the A string as well. And that way I was able to separate this polyphony and play parts like a bass player along with untouched and very pure sounding melody. So I actually got talking to the guys from Boss at the Larvik Guitar Festival in Norway last year and mentioned how much I love this pedal and all the fingerstyle guitar players love this pedal because it's the only pedal in the world that has this feature. And he did mention that they're cooking something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to share with you what they have been cooking, which is the newly updated OC5. This is the OC3 on steroids. Let's take a look at what they've kept, what they've changed, and why this is the best octave pedal in the world for fingerstyle guitar players, and I guess the other guitar players as well. Now much like the previous version, the OC5 has two outputs. It has a conventional output containing the predetermined blend of octave signal and dry signal, but it also has a dedicated direct output. Now the direct output acts as a bypass, carrying your raw guitar signal through the pedal. This allows for some really creative routing options, and I certainly have been taking advantage of this since the beginning, running my octave sound into one channel of a mixer and my dry guitar sound into other pedals and into the mixer or front of house. Now on the OC3 we actually had two inputs, one optimized for guitar and one optimized for bass. They've streamlined this on the OC5 to a single input, but actually put the switching on the back. So on the back here, if you can see, there's a switch that allows you to optimize the input for guitar or bass guitar frequencies. Now this is a dream for fingerstyle players who play in lots of different tunings. You might be playing in standard tuning and want the octave pedal to, to read it as a guitar signal, but then without having to literally remove the jack from the pedal and switch inputs, by the flick of a switch on the back, you can change it to provide a nice beefy sound for a much lower tuning. Nice. We also have a standard nine volt input as is commonplace with all Boss pedals, as well as the ability to take a nine volt battery inside the pedal. Now we actually have an interesting switch here to switch between vintage mode and poly mode. Now the vintage mode mimics the circuitry of the famous OC2 pedal, one of the most famous octave pedals in the world by Boss, 
a favourite today, a favourite by bass players. I wonder why they didn't make this the OC4 if we had OC2, 3. I think it's because 4 is an unlucky number in Japan. Let's assume that that's the reason. Now in this mode, we have a direct level knob. Now the direct level knob will be common to a lot of you. It's basically selecting how much dry guitar signal is coming through the mix here uh, before exiting the output socket of the pedal. Then we have a feature that's brand new to the OC5. We actually have a plus one octave where we can choose how much of the octave above what we're playing is coming through. Now this is really cool, will allow for some really, really interesting experimentation because you're actually able to blend that with the traditional minus one octave level knob, which we have here as well. This again chooses how much of that low octave we want to blend into the sound. Now in the vintage mode, we have another feature at the end here, exclusive to the OC5, where we're adding a minus two octave. We're going really, really low with this, adding a second octave down to your signal. Now, as you guys will know, the really cool stuff for the fingerstyle guys comes when we switch it into polyphonic mode. When you're in polyphonic mode, you can also add in the plus one octave as well as the minus one octave. Really, really cool. You can create some really, really interesting sounds and textures. You could, for example, set the range high and just have the plus one octave on and allow you to play, play uh, fingerstyle normally, but on the top strings have an octave above to create some really, really cool enhanced melodies, something that I've never seen from an octave pedal uh, before. Now for anyone that checked out my Van Halen Jump Tribute video recently, the eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that the OC5 was on my pedal board. I was using this for that recording. I'm gonna be using it for all my recordings moving forward. Thanks so much guys. I don't talk about pedals too much on here. I want to really reinforce the fact that the pedals that I say I love, I genuinely love and I genuinely do use just like this guy that's been on the board for so long. I'm super excited to, to take this one out and get it all dirty as well. Thanks so much to Boss for sending this out to me. I hope you guys enjoy it. For more information about how I use it for recording and, and for some other interesting signal routing stuff that I do, head over to the link in the description there where I will do some more demos for you. Take care guys, enjoy the power of the octave.